everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Raymond Orr and I'm a spiritual guide, consciousness expansion guide and initiation or pranic living initiation guide. Today the subject is stop abusing the law of attraction. Now I know a decade ago when The Secret came out either by a book or a, in a movie, movie form everybody started working with the law of attraction. All the mentors, all the guides, everybody said yeah it's a frequency you just have to attract it, you just visualize it but there's much more than that. The law of attraction is way beyond that because people fail or the secret fails to mention that it's all about the heart. It's about visualizing and in feeling the way that you're going to feel in the end. So if it's a relationship that you want, if it's a money abundance that you want, if it's just a character change that you want to feel more simplicity in your life or more freedom in your life, you have to really connect with that energy of your future self as if he is already vibrating there. Now to understand this you have to understand also how consciousness works. Consciousness works the highest in the present moment. Uh, a normal human being will probably most of the time spend uh, thinking about the future or thinking about the past. Meaning he's thinking busy about what's going to happen and creating an illusion out of a fear out of that or what has happened or how I failed or how I didn't do something well enough and what, that's why I'm victimizing myself and disappointed with myself. So when we are like that, the law of attraction has absolutely no chance of working because we are in our mind and the law of attraction requires a balance between being in the visualization, the mind, the definition and the heart and both of them together create a belief, a belief that slowly becomes a knowing. Now in the beginning it's a belief and with time when you practice it, it becomes a knowing. The difference is that the belief still has that little, little doubt that maybe I won't get that, maybe I won't be with that person, maybe I won't be able to heal myself. And a knowing is just a knowing. It's sort of like uh, religious people that just know that God exists in their way doesn't matter what we think about it, if it's a positive or a negative thing, it's, it's about the knowing itself. Now when I'm saying stop abusing the law of attraction, it says you have to learn how to use it in the right way. Not out of balance. If you keep focusing, always focusing on what you want, eventually what will happen is that you'll start comparing what it is that you want with what it is that you got. That comparison will obviously create a difference and that difference will create a shadow of a doubt and it creates a type of a fear that you are not powerful enough to be a creator, that maybe other people can do it and you can't do it. So there will be like a difference. So if you're abusing or over abusing it, always visualizing, you're overdoing it. It should be visualizing and letting go, allowing spirit to work her magic, allowing the right type of synchronicities to, to unfold in the way that they were supposed to unfold. If you keep on focusing on that, maybe like, a, like an athlete that practices, maybe it's one way of doing it, but you don't want to be 90% of your time in the future. You want to sort of like let go. Uh, the best metaphor is uh, when a person shoots a bow and arrow. The phases of using the law of attraction are to imagine it, to visualize it, and then to, to declare it, you know, to see that I'm going for that aim and I'm pushing my bow back or I don't know, you're stretching my bow back. I'm looking at the target and then I'm letting go. And once I let go, I don't have to continue aiming because it's already there. The arrow is, I've already aimed. I did everything I could visualizing and, and the energy work and the emotional work. And I felt how it feels like to, uh, to get my target. And I was very excited about that. And I, I saw myself in the future. I did all those things. But once I let go, I'm trusting. I am trusting that the arrow will find the target in the best way for everyone that's concerned as well. Because when I'm manifesting something, when I'm using the law of attraction, the universe has to conspire to listen to my heart. So once I do set that goal and I'm letting go, I'm trusting. Now I'm trusting spirit, I'm trusting God, the creator, nature, the universe, our guiding angel, our future self, our higher self, our subconscious, however it is that you want to call it. I'm trusting that that's going to happen the way it is just the way it is, just the way I planned it, because I already did the stretching, I already did the aiming. That's the work that I'm doing with the law of vibration. That's the, the magnet that I'm doing. So don't try to overuse it. Don't uh, overexhaust yourself. You will end up just overthinking, uh, disappointed maybe. So use the law of attraction the way it was formed, in the best way. It's a vibration that's attracting a vibration. 
And that vibration, you just have to believe that you are in that vibration. Think about yourself as a television set. A television set knows how to receive all the different channels. It has all the different frequencies, but it only displays one frequency at a time, meaning one channel. You are the one that's holding the remote. So because you're holding the remote, you just kind of like forgot a little bit that you're holding the remote. You have the power. So you can be MTV or you can be CNN. Or you can be the, the news channel, you can be the sports channel, you can be so many different things, but it's your choice according to the vibration that you are emitting outside into the world. Because the world is like a mirror. You cannot force the mirror to change or to force your reflection to have a smile unless you smile first. And this is the words of Bashar, which is a freaking genius. B-A-S-H-A-R. I'm a student of his for the last maybe 15 years. So my friends, don't abuse the law of attraction. Use it wisely. There's a lot more information I can give you about that. Uh, just search on my online workshops, um, more of my YouTube videos, a lot of them about the proper way of manifestation, the more uh, spiritually aligned way of manifestation. So that's it. My name is Rayma Orr. Thank you very much for watching me. If you'd like to join any of my workshops, check out my online website, www.raymaorr.com, and enjoy my videos.